Okay, so um, I didn't really know how to go about this, but um. About two weeks ago, coming home from work, um, back in December, um, I tried killing myself. Um, I was walking along the highway and the cars were coming off the highway exiting and whatnot. And I tried basically walking in the lane. Um, they were swerving around me, gratefully nobody was on their phone or anything, but it might have been the emo ass music I was it was definitely the emo ass music I was listening to. <laughs> um I don't really have any advice to give if you're struggling like I am, besides this the same shit you always hear. Don't don't distance yourself, don't isolate yourself, but it's funny because that's what depression makes you want to do. Um, and it's like bondage and like you just feel tied down. And since graduating high school, um, I had bouts with depression, anxiety, all that shit. It was mainly brought on by my peers. Before high school, I didn't, I don't remember having any of that shit. And the self-consciousness came and the self-doubt, the low self-esteem came. And yeah, all that shit was brought on by my environment. Would I have turned out the same person I am right now if I was homeschooled and they didn't deal with all that shit? Probably not. But I feel like it's like, I'm a pot of clay being molded and the good and bad shit or like I'm a rest it's how I phrase this the good and bad shit just gets thrown <laughs> thrown in your pot and then stirred up your pot of life if that makes any fucking sense at all I don't know um and you take the good with the bad which is what they always say and it feels like since graduating, I've just been unraveling, like I'm a mummy. I've been unraveling the the, the negative thinking, the low self-esteem, the hurt, uh, all that shit, because I'm a very sensitive person. And people took, people took advantage of me. I should have, I should have stood up for myself. Um, I did a few times and pieces at my core. So like, I'm not confrontational at all. And people might look at me and say, oh, well, you're just a wimp. Or I mean, fuck it, maybe I am. Maybe I trust too much. Maybe I have too pure of a heart. I don't know. Um, I don't understand how some people can literally wake up and their goal is to like bring someone down. Like what kind of person are you that if that's your goal, like what kind of life are you living? Not a very meaningful one. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of rambling. Uh, I made this video for, for two reasons. I wanted to come back and look at this in a few years. And also I wanted it to be an outlet through which other people other fellow, fellow beautiful people as uh, are going through and just so they can feel like they're not alone in it. Um, yeah, so hang in there. That's all I have to say. Maybe I need a dog. I think I need a dog. A dog will bring, like, make me more happy. Uh, hang in there. Maybe you don't always um, play that emo music that I know you like listening to because like that shit changes your whole mood and 
yeah, just try to be happy, stay positive, drink water, you know, just, it's just about self-care, you know, um, yeah, you fucking rock, like, you're fucking amazing, write that shit down and look at that shit every morning, and I'm saying that, and I don't do that myself, but I need to do that, um, to help counteract the negative thoughts. So, peace. That was cringe as fuck, I'm sorry.